Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. Every entrepreneur who comes here is convinced their idea or invention could make them rich. But each of them needs a cash injection to get their business going. Our dragons can provide the backing they need, but it's their own money they're using, so expect them to ask some tough questions. So, how will our first entrepreneur cope under the dragon's scrutiny? I am Sammy French. Um, this is Daffy. Um, yes, named after Daffy Duck. Um, my children named him. Um, my company is Fit Fur Life Limited, and I'm pitching for £100,000 for 25% of my business. I have developed one of the most advanced canine treadmills in order to help in the rehabilitation process um, post injury and operation and also will help in the fitness in the build up to competition levels. The a reason why this treadmill is so unique is due to the finely adjustable incline and decline features of the treadmill. Um, also it has an extremely delicate control of speed. The product is aimed at vets, police force and then you've got your kennels, your quarantine and rescue centres. I've tested this market with a previous model and I've sold 147 units. I am unfortunately having to turn away business because I simply cannot supply the demand um, for the product at this stage. What I would like to do with any investment is to finance the uh, production run of the first 150 machines and then the sales generated from that will totally fully capitalise all the working requirements of the company and any future stock. Sammy French and Daffy are asking for £100,000 for 25% of Fit Fur Life a canine treadmill designed to rehabilitate sick dogs. Sammy says she's already having to turn away orders for the treadmill, but dog owner Peter Jones has other concerns. Hi, Sammy, I'm Peter. Hi. I've got sort of mixed feelings about mm -hmm. it, and, but it kind of makes me feel sad. But sad because... I think it'll be a sad day when we see well, the next sort of dog gym. It's not aimed at that market. Um, in order for dogs to um, rehabilitate from um, any injury or operation, they have to have a controlled form of exercise. Sorry, um, I love your dog. He's leaning I, very I, casually I, with He's so <laughs> laid back. Look at him. Well, he's just pleased that it's over. <laughs> so this is for rehabilitation. Yep. Serious training, potentially guard dogs, police mm -hmm. dogs. Yes. What's that market size? Um, of the actual professional industry, about 200,000, and then over the UK, there's about 5 million people that either own or work with dogs. What percentage of that market do you think you can tap into? On my predictions, is basically that we can be selling sort of 300 units a year. How much profit do you make per unit? Um, it's selling, retailing at £1,695, and I'm buying in at 385 People are going to pay. I mean, that just blows my mind. They do. I've... £1,600 on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I'm flabbergasted. I'm going to pass uh, on. What? OK. Peter Jones is amazed by the 300% markup Sammy is managing to achieve on her treadmills. Now, James Kahn wants to know where she got her inspiration for the innovative product. Sammy, tell me a bit about your background. How, how did you get into this? Um, well, it... It basically, I've done a lot of dog training um, for competition side um, and I wasn't very well one summer and I had my own human treadmill and I needed to get the dogs fit for the oncoming season and I put them on it um, and was surprised at how they loved it um, and that's sort of where I took it from. And the £100,000 that you're looking yeah. for, Sammy, are you going to use all of that in stock? So No. No, basically there will be uh, 60,000, it will be to bring the first 150 machines in. The remainder is for, there's a working capital requirement that's running the company for, for six months. I have to work, I've got two kids on my own and... What do you do? Um, I just work in a pub at the moment, well, you know, as a waitress. So you've got a day, you've a day job as well? So yeah, 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 yeah. 
Sammy has impressed the Dragons with her dedication in getting the product to market. But Deborah Meaden wants to get to the bottom of her finances. Hello, Sammy. Hi. Hi. I'm Deborah. Um, it sold 147 of the previous model. Mm -hmm. What has that meant to your business? What have you turned over so far? Um, well, the turnover is basically 138,000. Okay, and what's the profit been? Um, 38. Okay, and why can't you fund? Why can't you? I've been to the banks and they were totally... You've got 38,000 pounds worth of profit. What did you do with it, the profit? To, to develop the, the new design. The do money you owe the bank money now? No. And how many orders have you got? I've got 24 from... In firm written orders? F firm written orders, yes. And you've been to your bank and your bank have said, yeah. go away. Well, I'm a single mum with two kids, OK, and I don't have any assets. I don't understand why you didn't give a small discount against the 24 orders you've got for a 25% deposit to a customer. Yeah, no. Because that would then fund the purchase of all the product. <coughs> so the business could be self-financing anyway. Well, I've already taken the orders and the deposits, OK? Right. And that has helped to pay for the tooling moulds, OK? Ah, with the understanding ah, sorry, that Sorry, I'm bank confused now. Ah, you've spent the deposits as well. No, I've got money in reserve, but because the bank said that they were f behind us, OK? And they then pulled out, saying that they were really wishy-washy about it, actually. I have I'm really never, worried about this bank thing. Never. I have to say, I feel slightly misled, Sammy. And you didn't say anything about, well, actually, the bank did offer to lend me 25,000. Yeah, you just they said they won't. Well, can you just come clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. just tell us exactly what happened with the bank? And don't say they were wishy-washy. Tell me exactly what the bank said. My bank manager was totally behind us, and then the bank decided not to go with it. They want, they will lend you the money as long as you've got assets to guarantee that money behind you. Sammy's shocking confession of just how serious her cash flow problems are, having failed to get a cash injection from the bank, have left the dragons reeling and her pitch in real trouble. Peter Jones has heard enough. It isn't easy. No. And especially when you're starting out, you've got a couple of kids as well, it's going to be tough as hell. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, admirable, but as a business, I don't see it, so why I'm out. Okay. Uh, Sammy, I've got to tell you, I don't think I could invest in somebody when they've done a presentation where halfway through I've had to say, can you please come clean? Okay. I understand your situation. If you'd stood here and say, look, frankly, I'm in dire straits, but I've got a great product, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It might have, it, in fact, it probably would have happened because I like that, but yeah. I can't invest in okay. that. And what worries me most is your reputation's shot. You've already not delivered 24 machines, so I'm afraid I'm yeah. out. Okay. It's a disaster for Sammy. Her bid for £100,000 is fading fast. James Kahn is next to say where he stands. I think a lot of your explanation in your presentation you know does appear to have a lot of holes but I don't think that takes away from is there a market opportunity for this product and it, are people prepared to buy it and clearly your, your track record shows they'll pay the price that you're getting so I'm very tempted to make you an offer um, I'll offer you the hundred thousand you're looking for um, but I think I'd want 50% um, in order to take that risk. Unlike some of his rivals, James Kahn can see enough potential in Sammy's popular and profitable treadmills to invest, but only in return for a substantial stake in the business. Duncan Bannatyne and Theo Pafitis are still in. Will either of them launch a counter bid? I think you should accept it and put your hand out and walk straight over to him like that. That's what I would do if I was you. But I'm out. It's a great offer. Bite his arm off. Um, so I'm, I'm out as well. OK. Four dragons out, but Sammy still has one offer on the table. It's a difficult choice. Sacrifice half her company for James Kahn's £100,000 investment or leave the den empty-handed and carry on going it alone. Uh, 
Um, I think your offer is um, uh, reasonable. I would like to accept your offer. Well done, James. <laughs> Sammy French has pulled her pitch back from the brink of failure, convincing James Kahn to back her and her invention, and moving one step closer to realising her business dream. Well, 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 you old dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy. Hello. You must be feeling relieved. Well, shocked really, because I didn't really feel that it was going that way at all. It didn't take you long to accept the offer, did it? I mean, the other dragons made clear that they thought it was a good offer. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a good offer? With that sort of uh, equity that he's taken of the business, he will do his best to make sure that it's worked. Well, we'll see how you get on. Yeah. Well done. Thank very you well very done. much.